finally some relief tonight after a barrage of winter storms slamming our area for weeks. But cleanup continues, including moving the hundreds of massive trees that came down in dozens of neighborhoods, including Sacramento's Midtown, as you see here. And I talked with a special group of volunteers using their muscles and skills to restore your streets. How do you move a 50 foot decades old tree? It takes a lot of effort and it takes a muscle and it takes a lot of planning. And lots of special heavy duty equipment. The trees are massive, so we have some advanced sawyers, some saw ones, saw twos, probably the best in the country in Sacramento right now. And a team of trained professionals. We have so many people with skills, our certified instructors. You're looking at volunteers with Team Rubicon, performing chainsaw operations and debris removal after weeks of powerful storms took down hundreds of trees scattered across hard hit areas this month. It's been a unique experience, especially during doing it in an urban environment like Sacramento. Team Rubicon is a veteran-led humanitarian organization helping communities before, during, and after natural disasters and crises. They were requested to help this month by Sacramento County, the City of Sacramento, and Placer County. For this Team Rubicon mission, about 50 people from across the country, ranging from 21 to 70 years old, are here lending a helping hand any way they can. We have a mixture of people that can contribute to helping out Sacramento right now. Some people that are retired and some people that can can come out for two days. Brandon says he's been working 20 days straight. This mission strikes a special chord. Morale's high here. Everybody's enjoying helping people out. That's what we do as an organization in the seat of my hometown. It's been a pretty amazing experience so far. He says they're working alongside local relief teams like the Office of Emergency Management. It's a amazing feeling when you have people come from across the country to help you out. And then you being here in the area, it's just like this is the organization that I'm proud to belong to. Brandon and his teammates plan on staying in the Sacramento area until next Sunday, January 28th. Until then, they'll keep working, catching a few winks when they can during their temporary home away from home at the Cal Expo. For more information on Team Rubicon and their relief efforts around the country, that's all on our website, abc10.com.